Tonight. Our top story at this hour, Coeur d'Alene residents questioning City Council about the racial harassment targeting the Utah women's basketball players more than a week ago. Most people asking Council to do more to stop racism in their community. Our Nicole Hernandez was at that meeting tonight and has more on the investigation. Whitney, I talked to the Coeur d'Alene Police Chief right after today's meeting. He said investigations like this take time, but he is hoping to have more solid information for us in the next few weeks. In the meantime, people living in Coeur d'Alene still are not satisfied. Person after person came to the stand with the same concern. I appreciate and I support the apology to our visitors and the effort to investigate and prosecute the perpetrators. But I would say that we can't stop there. We need to also focus on proactively shifting our culture and preventing this from happening again. Only one speaker took the opposite side, upset the whole community is under fire. Disgusting. Slander is what it was. Where's the evidence? I would like to know. The council says they do know, though, something happened. Just because you don't know about a video doesn't mean something didn't occur. And a young woman certainly doesn't have to have a video to prove themselves that something occurred. Beyond the incident last week, the executive director of the Human Rights Education Institute told the council people have been reporting more hate crimes year over year. These vary from graffiti on bridges and park areas, um, el an elementary student being called the N-word as they exited the bus, pride flags being st stolen from multiple properties and off of a person, um, a student actually, and destroyed in the bathroom, homophobic and racial statements on the boulevard. In 2022, the Institute had 25 reports. In 2023, 39. And in just the first three months of this year, 30. But I would also say that our, our communities worked really, really hard to be welcoming and to overcome any sort of stain that we might have had in the past. There's a lot of people who have worked really hard to do that, and I think we can do that. These residents asking the council, though, to do more to stop these incidents. In Coeur d'Alene, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News. And also on the agenda tonight, Coeur d'Alene City Council approved another $1.2 million to expand the police department headquarters. That means they can now break ground on that project. They'll be adding new lockers, workspaces, and security measures. The project is expected to cost just over $6 million. Council approved most of that funding back in 2022, but since then, the police department has gotten a much better idea of what this expansion will actually take. They say the project is long overdue.